in the 21st century, we face many challenges, many risks, climate change, uh, as we've seen with the pandemic, uh, increasing risks around financial insecurity across many different countries. Uh, I think what we're increasingly learning is that many of these uh, risks involve psychological and behavioural underpinnings uh, that need to be understood. Most challenges in the world are human-made. So if we talk about if we talk about infectious diseases, if we talk about climate change, we need to have behavioural science to predict behaviour in a better way and that will ultimately help us to solve some of these issues. This programme gives you the tools to look at and analyse several challenges, right from ones which capture our attentions every day in terms of how am I feeling um, and what's my mood like to am I hungry and what should I eat for breakfast, right up to existentialist problems like what's the state of the planet that we're living in and how can we come together to actually resolve things like climate change. The program is structured into three broad segments where the first semester essentially gives you the tools to really analyze problems. So there's a focus on methods, um, especially empirical, quantitative, um, and experimental methods, which really aim to give us the answer to what caused a particular outcome. Um, apart from the methods courses, there'll also be an emphasis on giving you the foundations for what behavioral science really um, is sort of built on. Then in the second semester, you'll have the option to really tailor your own experience uh, of your MSc and focus on the areas that interest you most. So you'll take option modules in things like health, environmental issues, corporate behavior, happiness, Finally, the MSc culminates in a research-based dissertation which asks you to draw on all the skills you've learned so far in terms of your foundational knowledge but also your research skill sets and your own expertise in your topics of interest to carry out a piece of research that speaks to a question that you're interested in. Students come from a very diverse set of backgrounds. Many of our students come from an economics or psychology background but we also have people coming from a business background, people coming from a marketing background for example. So that's really, really very, very open and deliberately. There's three broad groups of skills uh, that one picks up in the MSc in Behavioural Science. So one is theoretical, uh, so through our core courses and our options courses you'll go through uh, all the main theories of human behaviour that are relevant in, in public policy context. Second is methodological. Uh, we bring students through a wide range of statistical techniques, experimental te techniques. Students spend a lot of time in the lab uh, and we like to say here that you, you go from the lab to the world and back again and there's a, there's a huge element of that. And then the third is very much practical, so we bring in lots of guest speakers from international institutions, students work on a lot of policy projects and so on, so we're really trying to, to equip students to understand the theory, to be rigorous in their methods, uh, but also to be very driven by application and very aware of application, aware of ethics, aware of practical issues when one is um, intervening uh, or working in policy contexts that affect people's lives. One thing that I took away from the course is an understanding where behavioural science actually fits, not simply within academia but also within different industries. We are lucky that one of the best departments um, that focuses on behavioural science in the world is centred here in London. Because our discipline is very related to the real world and many different industries including finance and consulting, we here find ourselves in the centre of all of the activities that takes place within those industries. It also really helps when you are planning your career, you are networking with people, going in for interviews. Um, this experience is made a lot smoother by the students being located right in the middle of where all the action is taking place. One of my roles as programme manager for the MSc in Behavioural Science is to make sure students make the most of the time whilst they're at the university. Uh, they're only here for a, a year and it's going to go super quickly. Uh, and there's always a huge amount going on on campus. It's always really vibrant, a lot of opportunities. We have film nights, um, we go to museums, we go to the theatre. Uh, we feel it's really important to make sure that students uh, get to know each other very early on and continue that relationship whilst they study um, with the hope of uh, continuing their friendship once they graduate. And I studied political science previously which was fine, but behavioral science got to the nitty-gritty of how humans actually behave in the most accurate way. What I've really enjoyed about this program is how widely immersive it is. We're constantly being given opportunities to attend other lectures, engage in other workshops. You have so many options at LSE, but also in a program in particular, that you could do stuff all day. The yeah, LSE is becoming really the app uh, of behavioral science application and practice. And a lot of people working in the area uh, they really love to come to the LSE to interact with our community, with our uh, faculty and increasingly with our brilliant students. One of the 
core principles and uh, what I really value about the LSE is that you know he has a, this is a very open atmosphere so you can really talk openly about what you think and people will listen and I think the exchange you have here at the LSE from people coming from all over the world um, is breathtaking.